Hi, this is Destiny from Desfix and welcome back to another video in the blog app using Django and React.js. In this one, we will get started working with the dashboard API views. That is all we'll be doing. Hopefully you will enjoy the video and learn something new. So let's get started. So the very first thing that we'll be doing is creating the dashboard statistics API view. So for that one, I want you to open up your code and down here, you can create a new class and call this one dashboard stats API view. Or you can even just name it dashboard stats, okay? It's up to you what you want to call this. And now let's switch back to using the generics view. And for this one, I'm going to be using the list API view. The serializer class that I want to interact with should be API serializers, then the author serializer. And the permission classes that I want here should be allow any. All right. Now let's override the default get query set. So get query set. And remember, it takes in self. So what we need to do is say user ID should be equal to self dot keyword arguments and then user ID. So that's what we're going to be appending on the URL. Let's also fetch user based on that user ID by saying API models, API underscore models dot object uh -oh, dot user dot objects dot get ID equal to user ID. Now we have the user. So let's go ahead and calculate all the views, posts, likes, and bookmarks that a user has gotten or that an author has gotten. So I'll say views should be equal to API models dot posts dot objects dot filter by user should be equal to user. And I want to sum all the views together. So I have to aggregate this. So aggregate, then I'm going to create a variable called view. And this should be equal to sum all the views together. So this is how it works. So sum, which is a met, which is a function by Django. And I want to sum all the views together. So this view is whatever the view field is called or whatever field you want to sum over here. So if you want to sum this and make sure it's an integer, if you'll be using sum, make sure it's an integer or decimal, if you'll be using sum. So I want to sum all the view simple view should be this. And now whenever you call views dot view, you will get the view. But if you just want to call view views like this and get all the counts, that means you need to come over here and pass view like this, which means we get the view from here. Whenever you call this, we grab the view immediately. Simple. So now let's count. Okay. Let's go ahead and count all the posts that this author has. So it should be API models dot post dot objects dot filter by user should be user dot count. Okay. And let's also go ahead and count all the likes. This should be equal to API models dot posts dot objects dot filter by user should be equal to user dot aggregate again. And let me call this variable total likes should be equal to the sum of all the likes field. And also remember how we did this. We go ahead and return total likes. Does that make sense? And finally, the book max. So this should be equal to API model dot bookmark dot objects the filter. But you know what? Let's go ahead. Mm, let's go ahead and grab all the bookmarks. But we actually need a way to. Okay, you know what we're gonna say. We will say the filter by instead of grabbing all the bookmarks. That doesn't make sense. Let's filter by user should be. Uh oh. Or let's say post underscore underscore user should be equal to user. So what this will do is it's pretty much a field lookup because we don't have like an, an auto user foreign key over here on the bookmark. But the only way we can get the auto user foreign key is based on the post because the post has a field called user. See here. That means we can now say user underscore underscore 
sorry, post underscore underscore user should be equal to user. Now you might be asking, why can't we do post dot user? Now that doesn't work. Okay. So whenever you want to query over here, you have to use the field lookup. Then over here, you can use your chaining if you want. So you can use chaining for this section, for the right section, you can use chaining and you can't do this. Okay. So this is what I want. We are done. Now let's go ahead and return this. So I'll say return in a list. I'll create a dictionary and let's start off by saying views should be views. Now duplicate this in three more places and pretty much copy all this. And um, uh, I'll paste it down here and also here. Okay. So after we've done that, now we need to override the default list method and actually send this serializer to the front end. So we will say list, you should take, you should take self request args and quags. So self request args and quags. And we need to pass in the query set. So query set should be equal to self dot get query set. So I want you to understand what's going on. Whenever we call self dot get query set, we are now grabbing all those query sets that we have written here. Okay. And appending it to this query set here. Now what you want to do is serialize it, then send it over to the front end. So serializer should be equal to self dot get serializer, which is this one over here. So this is the serializer class. So that's what this is going to get. And we simply want to serialize this query set that we have grabbed. So it converts it to a JSON type of data. And many can be true. So many should be true because you can see, obviously, we have four of these over here. Okay. And now let's send it to the front end by saying return response. And we will simply want to send the serializer.data. So the serializer here has this data attributes. Okay, now that we have done this, that is pretty much it. This is now working as expected. Let's go ahead, configure the URL and test it out. So over here in the URLs API, um, down here, I'll create a new path. This should be auto slash dashboard slash stats slash user underscore ID. So I'm passing in user ID simply because over here, simply because over here in the dashboard starts view, you can clearly see that I'm expecting a user ID to be sent in the URL. Does that make sense? So let's test this out. I will get back here and reload this page. And now we have another one called auto. So now when we try this out and pass in the auto ID as one and execute now, okay, we have an error. It says can't access local variable likes where it's not associated with a value. So we obviously have an issue here. What is going on? Let's get back to our code. I think we have a problem in the likes. Okay, please wrap this in a string. Okay, wrap that in a string so that it knows that it needs to get it from the post model. All right, now you can go ahead, execute again. Okay, now it says int arguments must be a string, a bat like object. So one of the errors that I can quickly pinpoint for this will be um, a compatibility issue, which means we are supposed to pass integers and return them to the front end because that's what the serializer expects. But instead, what we are pretty much passing is a full query set. Now, a model over here is obviously defaulting on that. You can see all those ones returns something, a sum, a count, a sum, but this one then return any count. So please add a count to this. Instead of returning a count, we are passing the whole query set, which really doesn't make sense and won't be accepted. So after passing that in, try executing this again. And now there you go. See one view, one post, one like, one bookmark. All right. That is pretty much it. If you come over to any of those bookmark and, you know, get rid of them and get rid of one of this and re-execute this. Can you see zero bookmarks? So that is working as I expected. That is all good. In the next video, we'll get started working with the dashboard post list 
And instead of working with this one by one, we might actually just combine a lot of the APIs together. Maybe work on the post lists, the comment lists, the notification lists. All this seems not to be, you know, pretty much. Work on the mark notification as seen, mark on the post comment. Um, post create seems to be a very long one. So we have to take our time and work on that. But after that, I think we should be done. That is it for this video. Do make sure to drop a like, consider subscribing as you really mean the world to me. And I hope to see you in the next video. Until then, my love, peace out.